Let's start learning grammar. In this video, we will learn what is a noun phrase, how to identify a noun phrase within a sentence, role or function of a noun phrase in a sentence, and some examples of noun phrases which will help us to understand noun phrases easily. First of all, let's know its definition. Now, according to definition, a noun phrase is a group of words headed by a noun that includes modifiers. You can see in the examples below. The man, a girl, the doggy in the window. In these examples, we have a head noun, man, girl, doggy and other words the, a, uh, the, in the window playing the role of modifiers. Now what is a modifier? Modifier means any word which restricts or adds to the sense of a head noun. For modifiers, we can use similar words like additional, attribute or descriptive. So we can understand that in the phrase the man, man is the head noun that is main noun and the is the modifier because it is helping us to add more sense to our noun man as we all know that the is a definite article it means in this phrase we are talking about a definite or specific man similarly in other example a girl where girl is a head noun and article a is attributing it or adding more sense to the noun girl in the third example the doggy in the window you can see that the head noun doggy is highlighted because in this phrase main noun is doggy and rest other words are modifiers i hope you have understood what is a head noun and what is a modifier now let's understand how to identify a noun phrase in a sentence? So, to identify a noun phrase, we need to check whether the given phrase has a noun and a modifier. As you can see in the examples, every phrase, the soldier, one rat, my cousin, dirty factory, some kindness, has a head noun and a modifier. Secondly, we need to know that in a noun phrase, the modifiers can come before or after the noun. As you can see in the examples, the lawyer with the big nose, the house in the corner. In these two examples, lawyer and house are the nouns and are preceded by the modifiers, the and succeeded by other descriptive words with the big nose in the corner. So, a modifier can come before or after the noun. Thirdly and most importantly, a noun phrase can also be headed by a pronoun because pronouns are the words which are used in place of noun. As we can see in the example, we who were jealous here in this phrase we do not have any noun but instead we have a pronoun so this group of words will be referred as a noun phrase similarly as you can see in the second example no one is important here no one is indefinite pronoun and that is why it is also called a noun phrase so what we have learnt? We have learnt that a noun phrase must have a noun, a modifier and it may be headed by a pronoun. Now let's understand the function of a noun phrase in a sentence or what role does it play in a sentence. So here you will get the answer. Like any noun, a noun phrase can function as a subject an object or a complement. Let's try to understand this with examples. Swimming in the pool relaxes me. Here 
the word swimming is the name of an activity that is why it is noun so don't get confused between a verb and a noun swimming looks like a verb but in this sentence it is not an action word it is a name of the activity and what is a noun noun means name that is why this word is playing the role of a noun and in the pool is a modifier if we look at the sentence structure we will come to know that this part is playing the role of a subject this is our verb and this is our object so this particular phrase is playing the role of a subject noun phrase in the second example i never learned from a man who agreed with me in this sentence a man who agreed with me is a noun phrase because it talks about the head noun man and it is playing the role of an object because it is preceded by a verb learned so what is our sentence structure here this is our subject this is our verb and this is our object that is why here this phrase is playing the role of a object noun phrase in the third example she was the devil in disguise the devil in disguise is a complement noun and this sentence doesn't contain any action word so this part is playing the role of a complement there is no action word here so i hope you have understood the difference between an object and a complement object always has an action word and a complement does not have any action word so it is easy for us to identify the role or function of a noun phrase in a sentence in the first phrase it is subject noun phrase in the second one it is object noun phrase and in the third one it is complement noun phrase i hope you have understood noun phrase let's see some examples now in all these examples you can see these highlighted words these are all nouns and other underlined words they are modifiers so it is easy for us to identify a noun phrase all these underlined words are playing the role of noun phrases but other thing which we need to identify is whether these noun phrases are playing the role of a subject an object or a complement in the first example you can see this noun phrase is playing the role of a subject noun phrase and here it is playing the role of object noun phrase because it has a main verb contains similarly in second example you can see that this part is playing the role of subject noun phrase and this part is playing the role of complement noun phrase why it is complement noun phrase because in this sentence we do not have any main verb there is no main verb so it is not object it is complement i hope it is clear how to identify an object noun phrase and a complement noun phrase let's understand with the third example at the zoo i saw a striped zebra now a striped zebra let's see this is subject this is verb and this is object so this phrase is playing the role of object noun phrase why because in this sentence we have an action word saw that is why this phrase becomes object noun phrase i hope you are getting it let's go to fourth example 
I want a cute puppy for Christmas. Now here, a cute puppy. Let's see the sentence structure. I is subject, want is a verb and this is our object. Why it is object? Because it has a main verb, want. That is why this phrase will be referred as object noun phrase. Let's see in the fifth example. Tom Cruise, my favorite actor, is the hero of the movie. Now my favorite actor, as you can see, it is in the beginning of the sentence. So this is playing the role of a subject noun phrase. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video and you have understood what is a noun phrase, how to identify a noun phrase within a sentence, what role does it play in a sentence and you can easily identify them. Thank you for watching.